Greetings Hawklings, Cyber Dogs, and fellow fishing enthusiasts. This is Hawkeye, and I am back in Fishing Planet, and I am back at the Florida map again, guys. I have been trying desperately to level myself up so that I can get to the next map that would be in California, but at this point I'm still <laughs> barely into... Well, I'm still basically at the end of level 16. I mean, I've been fishing a while, too. This takes a while, guys. But, you know, hey, every anything that's worthwhile, I guess, should spend time doing it. Anyway, I'm getting a lot of lag here for some reason. I'm not sure why. According to this, I'm getting 50 frames per second, so I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, guys, I am here. Let me show you. I am at the floating thickets, which is the center peg of this particular map. And the reason I wanted you to see this... If, I don't know if you can tell up here, but I am really close to getting a level 17. And once I get there, I can actually keep trophy bass and trophy peacock bass. And what's the best thing to level up in this particular map? Well, definitely it would be the peacock bass, because they're pretty easy to catch, guys. And the funny thing is, they're worth a lot of XP, guys. It's really strange. I mean, you would think, as easy as they are to catch, they would be worth... I don't know, probably a little less, but that's not the case. Anyway, let me show you guys. I think Delacaba had done a series on this particular fish before, but I have got several rods set up here with different types of bait and lures. I think this is the half inch here. But pretty much with these guys, you can fish with an old rubber boot and you would probably catch them, and that's not a joke. <laughs> it's really not a joke. The best thing, though, however, of course, is the Weapon X, and it seems to always do very well with these guys. Let me go ahead and make sure that I've actually got the... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I want to make sure I have the half inch. Half inch. Half ounce. But, literally, let me just show you here real quick. This is, this is not a joke. Looks like a bad cast? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Let me reel it in a little bit. I'm just going to jiggle it around a little bit. <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? I mean, they are just that easy to catch. There you go. And he's pretty good size, 3.3, and look at the XP, 69 from... So, this is how you get your XP, guys. Just toss your line in there and just jiggle it around. That's really about all it takes. Let me go ahead and switch to this other rod. And this one has a, ba a bass jig. You can catch them on bass jigs. You can catch them off worms different types of spoons really doesn't matter they'll go just for just about anything actually they'll go for just about nothing <laughs> float fishing will get them they're not particular that's for sure these guys are easy to catch and you can get the XP pretty darn quick, see? Oh, well, I'll be darned. It wasn't quite... <laughs> well, you can also catch bass with bass jigs, too. <laughs> but yeah, this blue jig is, I, I think... I've heard Delacaba call it Weapon Y a couple of times, but it works really well with bass. I mean, I've tried a few of the jigs, and the blue one seems to work the best for me, especially on sunny days. Anyway, we're going to see if we can get something else here real quick.
Come on, fish. And they're gonna be going to be particular, and I'm having trouble talking for some reason. I don't know what my deal is. I think I need to get a drink is what my problem is. Getting a little dry. Yeah. I'll tell you another one that they really go for too. Let me get rid of this. Put one of these spinner baits on here. They really like these. I mean, you barely have to do anything. See? I mean, they really like the spinners. Seventy XP. And what I like about it is they're, they're right next to the dock, too. You don't have to be very far. Let's see if I can't. Now, this might actually work. Come on. Don't make a liar out of me. I just like to bob it up and down, see if I can get something interested. There we go. There you go. 70 more XP. Doesn't take long to fill your stringer with that. I'd probably say you can catch just, like I said, catch them with just about anything, but I think that these are definitely the best. I mean, literally, it's just like one area after another. As you can see, that spinner bait. You will definitely get you some fish. And just bobbing it up and down. That's enough. Uh oh, got me a snag here. fish. Okay, so now you're going to be persnickety. It figures. Alright, we'll throw it out further then. How about that? Oh, it seems to be the twit. Okay. So I gotta do it a little further out. Whatever. Whatever. As long as I catch him. I don't care. Mm, this one's decent sized. Or he's just a fighter. He's just a fighter. Come on, fish. be a fighting fish. But just about anywhere along here, you're going to get them. It really doesn't matter where you cast. But I don't know if you notice, for the twitching, I usually put it just like one notch, and about every second or so, just click the right button. It seems to be what works best get this way over 
there. They seem to be a little further out now. Ah, got me a snag. I think I'm going to do this a little bit slower. I had a bite. I don't know if you saw that go all the way up. I got another bite. For some reason or another, it didn't hook him. Hmm. It's odd. Very odd. throw out here one more time just to see what we can get over here. I think I might do a lift to drop this time. There we go. I love how they jump. They're, I don't know if you know this, but these aren't a native species to this, uh, this country. They're actually a South American fish that were brought here by, I believe, uh, aquarium enthusiasts. They're actually a cichlid, so they're not a bass at all. That's a big one. He's a 75er. Go ahead and keep him. And I am almost got a full stringer here. Almost 110 pounds of fish. But to get the big guys, you've got to go over to this other peg. Seems like I've seen more of them over here at the infinity tunnels. And the funny thing is, I've not caught them using a regular casting rod, but actually that's not the one I want. Let's see, is it four? Yeah, this is four. Oh, wait a minute. Eh. Might be able to get some length on that one. I don't know. Let me see here. I get okay let's try over here but what I do is I put it about 20 inches and I try to cast over into these weeds right over here and you can also cast over here but I can't quite get the distance to get over to those so these will work just as good and like I said shallow is best And these large minnows are just wonderful. You might get a regular bass this way too, because they really like them as well. But a one aught, two aught hook works just fine. It seems to be right around five, five p.m., six p.m., something like that. It's about the best time for it. But anyway, let's wait and see if we get us some kind of interest. I think we already are actually. Yep, we have got somebody interested. Let's see if he'll take it. That could be either a bass or a peacock bass. There we go. There we go. Let's see what we got here, people. What do we have? Well, he isn't little. And he's pulling out pretty good. Man, it'd be so cool to get a trophy. Now, I can't keep him, but I could sure use his XP. 
sure use the XP, that's for darn sure. Now, if he'll... Okay, I, he jumped up, so it's definitely... I would say it's a peacock, just because of the... They seem to jump a lot more than the regular bass do. He's decent. Yeah, it's a peacock bass. What do we got here? Yep, trophy peacock bass. See though, I have to m must release the fish, but I got 147 XP off that guy. Can't beat that. Oh shoot, I kept him. Oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna have to release him. Let's see, what I'll do is I'll go to my stringer. And so, keeping him so much, it's just habit. Let's see. Can't you release him? Huh. I guess I'm gonna end up paying a fine. Oh well. Of course, he's worth $49, 147 XP. Ugh, you gotta be careful, guys. You really have to watch that. Anyway, I'm gonna try see if I can't. Let me try the other other rod. Maybe it can make it. No, don't think it can. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this peg here, the lily pad channel. And there's another good spot for these guys. It seems like a lot of these really good places are right at the corners of these locations. And again, you want to keep it shallow. There's some reeds over here as well. Throw that guy way out there. Oh, heck. I uh, hope I don't break my rod. Yep, I did. Darn it. Uh, let's go with a 2 odd though. I wanted to increase the size of that anyway. No, let's do a three up. Let's do a three up. And we're gonna do large minnows again. This time I'm gonna be a little more careful of those reeds. Right about there. I don't think it'll. Don't think we'll get too. F Dang on it. Right about there. There we go. And we'll see if we get anything. Wow, right away. Wow, that was fast. Let's see what we get this time. Come on. Wow, this one's big. This one's big, guys. This one is a big one. Come on. Oh, wow. What have I got? Maybe this might be a trophy bass. I don't think this is a peacock. This is big, guys. Whatever this is, this is really big. I am telling you, this is... I might not be able to keep it, but this is going to be really a lot of fun to bring in. Okay, he's, we're making some headway on him now. What he's doing is he's swimming towards me now. He might try to make a run for it, so I better really watch myself here. Yeah, I don't think it's a gar. I don't... Yeah, it's jumping, so... Let's see, Come on, let's see what we got here. Let's see what you are. It's a bass. Trophy largemouth, I knew. I knew it. But I have to release him. Ah, <sighs> wish I could keep him. 116. Yep, that's where they are, guys. Right over there. I'm telling you, right about this time, it's the perfect time for it. 
I just need to get one more level and I'll be able to keep these guys. It's hard not to just keep doing this. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, I just want to show you a few things that's going on while I am trying to get up to the next map. And while I'm trying to get to where I can actually keep these guys, and looks like I got one interested in my line again. But anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and we will keep this coming. Well, I thought I'd turn this back on again just to see what this thing turns out to be. It may not be anything but just another trophy peacock or trophy bass, but... This guy's a fighting me. Yeah, I think I got another trophy one here. And if not, I've got me some XP. That's always good. Jeez, I have to release him. Darn it. So close, so close. I tell you, it's a lot of fun, guys. Anyway, one more time, I will. S well, here we go again. We could keep doing this for a while. This is it, guys. This is where the trophies are. I'll see y'all later, guys. Bye bye.